Hi, my name is Josh Udy. I'm the Curriculum Manager for Elementary Mathematics for Houston Independent School District. In this video, I will be showing how to represent and solve multiplication of a non-unit fraction and whole number referring to the same size whole using both a strip diagram and an open number line. I'll begin by reading the first problem. There are 24 plants growing in the garden. Five-sixths of the plants are vegetables. How many vegetable plants are growing in the garden? First, I'm going to represent what the garden is. I can do this using a rectangle or a strip diagram model. Here I see the garden, and I know that there are 24 plants growing in it. So I'll label that here, maybe indicate that there's 24 plants in all. I know in the problem that five-sixths of the plants are vegetables. This means that I need to partition my whole garden into sixths because the denominator indicates how many parts of equal size the whole is partitioned into. So I can divide my strip diagram into sixths. I know that five-sixths of the garden is vegetables. I might even want to color this. Just because vegetables are green, I chose green. This shows that five-sixths of the garden are vegetables. But it doesn't answer the question. The question asks how many vegetable plants are growing in the garden. This means that students need to understand the whole garden has 24 and it was broken into six parts. So how many plants must there be in each of those parts? I know the whole is 24 and I've broken it into, and I've broken it into six parts. This means that I can take 24 divided by six, which is four. So I'm going to represent four black dots. I hope you can see this in each part of my garden. Here I've represented all 24 plants. I've shown that the garden is broken into sixths and I've also shaded in five of those sixths. The question said how many vegetables are in the garden. So I need to count 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. I know that 5 sixths of 24 plants is 20 plants in all. Here you'll want to point out to the students that the 5 indicates how many times they count the 4 plants over and over. So they count 5 groups of 4. Let me represent this using a number sentence. The question said 5 sixths of the plants in the garden are vegetables. Students can represent this saying 5 sixths of 24, which they can learn means 5 sixths times 24. Here, referring to my picture, I know that a sixth is four, but I have five of them, and so my answer is 20 vegetable plants in the garden. Now I'm going to represent and solve our second problem. Let me read it. Tom has five feet of string. He will use three-fourths of his string for a project. How many feet of string will Tom use for his project? I'm going to represent this problem using an open number line. I'll start by just drawing a line. I know that Tom has five feet of string, so I can mark off 0 and 5. And I can go ahead and mark off 1 feet, 2 feet, 3 feet, 4 feet of string, and then 5 feet. This represents that he has 5 feet of string. The question says that he uses 3 fourths of his string for a project. Allow your students time to struggle with this. I'm asking them to represent three-fourths of five on a number line, and there is no way right now to clearly represent fourths because it's broken into five equal parts. As your students explore this idea, they will probably offer an idea or a solution along the lines of maybe we should break each number into fourths. 
So encourage them to do this. If I make three tick marks in between each interval count of one, I can see fourths. I still have five feet of string, and now I have it partitioned into fourths. So the question might be that you ask, how many total interval marks do we have on our number line? Students can see that there are 20 interval counts on the number line. We need to show three fourths of the string that Tom had because that's what he used for his project. If the students understand that there are 20 interval counts on the number line, they then need to be prompted or guided to figure out what one fourth would look like. Essentially, I'm saying, here's my whole piece of string. It's five feet long. What's a fourth of that? When broken into 20, I can think, well, what's a fourth of 20 tick marks? A fourth of 20 is five tick marks. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna draw a big line right down here. This shows that we have five interval tick marks. Let me keep doing that again and again. One, two, three, four, five. This shows five more interval tick marks. One, two, three, four, five. And then finally, one, two, three, four, five. Here, the students should see that I partitioned the whole length, the whole five feet of string into four equal parts. I did this by first separating each of the intervals from zero to one or one to two, each of the intervals between each whole number into four equal parts. And then when looking at all 20 together, I divided it into four parts by saying there's five small interval tick marks in between each of the sections. So the question asks, he used three fourths of the string for a project. So how much string did he use? Let me pull out another color. This distance from zero to one and one fourth represents one fourth of the five. This represents two fourths of the five. This represents three fourths of the five. This means that Tom used one, two, three feet of ribbon and three and one fourth, three and two fourths, three and three fourths feet of ribbon. Can you see that? This means that Tom used three and three fourths feet of string for his project.